I did it. I'm under $100 for this week's grocery haul. Vanessa and if you are new every single Saturday I share my grocery haul and my meal plan what I pick up to feed my family of six so this week I did go back to Walmart I've been on a Walmart kick lately and I picked up kind of just the few things that I needed for the recipes for this coming week that are not going to go bad because I am shopping a little earlier than normal I'm going out of town you guys will see that reflected in my meal plan and there's just a lot of extra things going on this this week so I'm gonna share with you guys the meal plan first and then we will get into the grocery haul all right so I am actually going to share my meal plan first before my grocery haul this time um, because I do have a new meal planner and I am seriously on the hunt for like the perfect one I may end up making one let me know if you guys would be interested in that um, but I browsed through a ton of them online and I ended up with this one because I love the setup of this one overall so it does have a band to keep it closed i will have the link down below i did find this on amazon it was around 13 dollars, so not very much at all but it just says love and lemons of course i am just drawn to the lemons meal record and market list so this was one of the ones that i loved because it had the separated list for you to write down your groceries and just pull it off and take it with you to the store. It is separate and when this one is all done, it just slides into this little back pocket. If I can get that out and you can use any little notepad that you want. So I thought that was awesome. Same with this. So this overall, if you have your own record book you could easily put it in here it has this this little flap and you can keep a different book and market list in here however you want so this is what they're calling the meal record for personal meal plans and social gatherings um, it does have a couple different information things in here which i don't really use at all i just loved the setup of this one overall now typically i meal plan sunday through Saturday, but none of the books that I found did I like as much as this one. The only thing wrong with this one is it has it from Monday through Sunday. So I did change my, the way I'm meal planning from now on. I'm going to meal plan Monday through Sunday. Still grocery shopping on Friday night or Saturday. Um, but maybe actually I might start shopping on Saturday instead of Friday just to make sure my produce and everything is good. But this is how it's set up. So personal meal plan, week of, you put in your week. Again, it's Monday through Sunday, but it has all the meals on here. Whereas before I was putting my dinner on it and then sometimes I would just use a piece of paper. So it's got breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and treats. Let me show you guys a blank one without all my scribbles. I was like seriously rushing to get my meal plan done. So there's a lot of scratches out and everything, but this is what it looks like overall. And it does have quite a few in here and I think it gets yeah, the whole, I know there's some stuff on the end. Here we go. So I go all the way through here and at the very back of the book. All right. So at the back of the book, it has this social gatherings, which this was in the last one, something very similar to this. Um, and I used it only once and there was a ton of papers in there. So I'm glad that this one doesn't have a whole ton because again, I don't really use this part that often, um, but it has a guest list, menu, wine, cocktails, um, an inspiration part, event title, um, let's see, event highlight, any extra notes, what worked and what didn't, so you could you know, really plan if you were definitely a party planner or you had a lot of gatherings, which I do not. Um, these would be a lot of fun and I love the way it's broken out, but again, I like that there's not that many of these pages in the back because this is really what I want. I just want, the meal plan breakup. So speaking of the meal plan, let's go back to mine. So I did not this past week, last week, I was super busy, went out of town on the weekend and I didn't make the breakfast and the lunch that I had planned on. My husband and I kind of just ate whatever we had um, in the house and we ate out once for lunch. So this is, I'm carrying over the quiche that I was gonna make for breakfast and the chicken salad because I put that rotisserie 
chicken in my freezer. So I'm making that for the beginning of this week. The quiche recipe that I make serves six, so he and I can have it for three days in a row. Kind of the same thing with the chicken salad. It should last us about three days. Then the rest of the week, I have oatmeal packets and breakfast tacos in the freezer, so we're kind of just, I just wrote this down to let us know that we have this, but we're just gonna be eating what we have. I'm not buying anything really new for breakfast. And then for lunch, um, I am just going to put together two different protein boxes for us to eat and then we're gonna eat leftovers because I really want to clean out my refrigerator at the end of this week and kind of give it a deep clean. So I wanna really use what we've got and eat everything. So I did the same thing. We've got two nights of leftovers for dinners um, because again, I just wanna clean out everything. And I'm making a few things this week that is gonna make more than what is gonna feed the six of us. So on Monday, we are going to have turkey, green beans, and mashed potatoes. On Tuesday, I'm going to do baked chicken with fried rice. I do not have to buy anything for the green beans or the mashed potatoes. Um, actually, yes I do, because I swapped that. We're not making, I'm not making mashed potatoes, I'm making some sweet potatoes and that's a recipe you guys are gonna see coming up because it is so good. So actually, I need to change that. I just reminded myself that. Um, Tuesday, I don't have to buy anything for it. I have chicken in the freezer. I have um, this coating that we're gonna put on top of it already. And then we did not make fried rice last week. We had those three boxes that I bought. They were plenty in those boxes. And everything that I have for fried rice could easily carry over to this week. So we're gonna have that as a side to the baked chicken because if you guys did not know, my oldest daughter is vegetarian and um, I figured this would be a good side. So she can just have fried rice and opt not to have the chicken because the chicken will not be in the rice, if that makes sense. So going along with my daughter being vegetarian, I did put two vegetarian meals on my meal plan this week, just trying out some new recipes. So I'm going to be making a veggie lasagna. We're gonna serve that with garlic bread and a bag salad. Um, and then the other one is gonna be an enchilada quinoa bake. And we're gonna have that with fruit salad. Then on, I accidentally put it on Thursday, but I did put an arrow here. On Wednesday, my twins, Rose and Pearl, they are turning six. So we are going to let them pick where they want to eat, probably like Chick-fil-A, or Burger King, they're probably gonna pick a restaurant that has a play place, or they could pick IHOP, I'm not sure yet, but those are kind of their favorite places. So we're gonna let them pick out where they want to eat for dinner. And then I already said the enchilada, and then two days of leftovers. Now Saturday is their party, so it does have a spot here for snacks and treats, and I like that because I'll be able to use this for anything extra that I want to make. Not doing a whole lot this week because we just had Halloween and we have a lot of candy in the house right now. Um, so I just put a little note on here that their birthday party is on Saturday, so we're going to be having a cupcakes. And that'll remind me that I need to pick those up because those were ordered. So that is the meal plan and my new meal planning book for this week. And now you guys are gonna see the grocery haul right now. All right, so here are the groceries. Now, since I am going out of town, I am not picking up the produce or things that will you know, expire or go bad until I get back. Um, and I will share that on my Instagram stories on Monday. So this is everything that will last you know, while I'm gone since I'm grocery shopping a couple days early. And I got some extra stuff, you guys. Like, let's start with one of the extra things. So this, I am just picking up ahead of time and saving um, the Black Forest Santa Snacks. I pick this up almost every single year or every single holiday, the themed gummies, because my kids just love gummies. And this is just a fun little snack for them. They're not horrible. I mean, there's worse things. I mean, it even says, you know, excellent source of vitamin C, made with real fruit juice, fat, and gluten-free. There's 32 pouches in here, so this will last a while. We still have some Halloween ones that you know will last for another week or two. So I went ahead and got that. They are super cute. Let's see, they've got cherry, strawberry, grape, pear, and berry flavors in here. So I went ahead and picked up that because now that Halloween's over, you know all the stores are all exploding with Christmas. So that was kind of like the main extra thing. So now let's go into everything else. I got some lasagna noodles, some garlic bread. These, this little section right here was all Paige, my oldest, she is 14. She is has decided to be a vegetarian. So she came with me to the store, and not just a vegetarian, but she wanted to look for more healthy options. So 
she kind of picked these. Um, this is Super Tasty Tommy's Superfoods, uh, and it is seasoned Brussels sprouts. And it says Brussels sprouts and red bell pepper. And then these are two vegetarian um, meats. I guess you wouldn't call them meats, I don't know, but they're always vegan, dairy-free, kosher, made with plant protein, and it is by the Garden, Guardian, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, um, but she got the breakfast sausage, sausage patties and the mandarin orange crispy chicken. She got this, um, if you guys, well, I already show, shared the meal plan. I shared that first. We're having chicken and fried rice. So instead of having the baked chicken that I'm making for the rest of us, she is going to make this um, orange chicken. This brand actually has, and I bought a rebate. You can buy up to five and um, get, I think it's a dollar off. So we'll get a dollar off of both of these because we got two. And then she picked up these. I've seen quite a few other people haul these and try these. Um, they have like three or four different flavors and Paige said she wanted to try them. So she got the sweet potato and cauliflower. And they're basically like tater tots, you know, french fries, but they're made out of veggies. So they're veggie, chop, veggie tots by Green Giant. So she wants to try those. I needed some rum extract for a recipe. I got some quinoa. I'm making a couple different vegetarian dishes this week for um, dinner, and I am going to be filming those for you guys. Uh, Paige has fallen in love with these as much as I love the broccoli and cheese ones that I pick up from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so she picked the green, creamy garlic shells up again. Uh, I needed some different crackers for something that I am making, so I got this Pepperidge Farm Cracker Trio. This is really great for parties and stuff. Then I got two of my daughter Rose's favorite yogurt um, for snacking and breakfast. It's the Yo Crunch Vanilla Low Fat Yogurt with M&Ms, and they're the mini M&Ms. And the reason I got two is because I'm sure that all of them are gonna have this this weekend while I'm gone, and then I wanted to make sure that she had one for next week. So I went ahead and picked up two. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to work out this whole creamer situation because my daughter uses quite a bit. Um, I already had a talk with her and I'm like, okay, you're using way too much creamer. This stuff is kind of pricey. And the fact that halfway through this week, this was already almost gone. The one that we bought last week, that's just a little too much. Now, all three of us, my husband, myself, and my oldest daughter have coffee, um, once a day. So I went ahead and bought this one, the one that I always get, and because this has, and I bought a rebate, still available. Um, and then I saw Amanda over at Hot Mess Mom haul this, and I was like, oh, that sounds really good. So I was specifically looking for this one for myself to try. I don't think um, my husband will try this one, Paige might, but they really just like normal creamer. So it's the Marshmallow Hot Cocoa uh, by Coffee Mate. So I'm really excited to try that. I got a big bag of marshmallows I need about half of this bag for a recipe and then the rest of it I just wanted to have a little bit extra for the kids to make my this homemade trail mix for them for their lunches or something I got a turkey I'm actually going to cook this in my instant pot you guys I'm super excited to try that out I got some drinks so um, since I got a couple extra drinks this time I don't have a whole lot of room in my fridge so I got the ones that can just sit out and they can have it over ice or put it in the refrigerator the night before if they want it to be cold but we don't have room for all of this stuff. So I went ahead and got the six 10 ounce bottles. It's by Ocean Spray, 100% juice, cranberry, no sugar added. So that is for my husband and my oldest daughter. All right, and then this, my husband has been doing very well drinking his coffee and not getting monsters because obviously coffee is better for you, a little healthier than this stuff. But since I'm going out of town <laughs> and I figured he's probably going to stay up late and work on stuff and get things done, he likes to do that that he would be a little bit more tired. So this is kind of like my thing. Whenever I go out of town or there's like a special thing going on, I always pick him up this four pack. So I figured even though he has transitioned to drinking coffee more often, that I would just still pick this up as a little special surprise. Here's your favorite energy drink. So he loves this blue one, the low carb monster energy drink. This is a four pack. So I got that for him. I got our typical two gallons of milk. Um, I did, we used to get a big one every single week, but the kids have just been drinking more water um, so I only needed to get a small one because we still have half of the other small one left um, and I really like the one it's got a blue label it has extra calcium in it but they only had this one available in the small size so I went ahead and got it it's still pulp free my kids don't like pulp and this is our favorite flavor the simply orange the other ones are just too sweet they taste 
like fakely sweet to us. So this is our favorite orange juice. And then again, I don't pick this up every single week, but I do keep seeing it on Ibotta, so I figured, you know, all these extra, I'm going out of town, there's holidays, all that extra stuff, I figured I would just keep picking this up as long as I'm getting a little bit back from it. So that is the True Moo Chocolate Whole Milk. They do not have the whole milk available in the gallon, um, just in the half gallon, so we like the whole milk better, or not me. I don't like chocolate milk at all. I know, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I don't like it, but everybody else in the house does. So I get the whole milk. It's just a richer taste than the, I think it's a 2% or 1%. So I got that. I got some cans. I needed like an odd amount of sauce for a couple different recipes. So I got like three different versions and different brands and I just picked what I saw and what I needed. So this is an eight ounce tomato sauce. It's organic, the Walmart brand, great value. And then these ones are both, actually only this one's organic. And this is a 15 ounce. Um, this one says made with natural sea salt. And then this one is the bigger one. I think it's 29 ounces. And again, it's just all different variations of tomato sauce. So I got that. Needed some vegetable broth. Um, this is the off brand of Rotel, basically. It's mild diced tomatoes with green chilies. I'm not brand loyal, loyal at all. I kind of just grab what I see and what I need. So no brand loyalty going on here. And then this is the Walmart brand, great value of pinto beans. And then I'm saving this for last because you guys, what? This is totally extra and I have a feeling I'm the only one that's going to use this, but I am a military brat. My parents were, are both retired from the military and we lived in Germany for several years and they had um, like a frit sauce is what I remember it being called over there and it was basically just mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together and that's what they had in little packets whenever we would get um, french fries from places and I just loved it so when we moved back to the states they didn't have that so all I would do is I would just mix mayonnaise and ketchup together and it was so good so I have that all the time whenever we have french fries and that's basically what this is what it's by Heinz and it's mayo chip saucy sauce basically you got your mayonnaise and your ketchup and you're mixing them together. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I want all my kids to try it and see if they like it, but this was just amazing. Okay, let's see, what does this say? All right, it says it combines the delicious taste of ketchup, mayonnaise, and a special blend of spices. So I'm really excited for this. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I picked it up and I showcased it and asked, I wanna ask you guys, have you ever had mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together? What do you think of it? Um, are you, if you haven't had it, would you try it? Let me know down below because this stuff is so, so good. I love it. I have a hard time eating french fries with just ketchup um, when I know I could have this. So that is my grocery haul. And all of this was $89.82. I know it says on the thumbnail, but I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys. And again, this is not everything. I do have to get the produce and anything extra when I get back from my trip. So there's my meal plan and my grocery haul for this coming week. If you guys like these videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know to continue sharing them with you. I did want to mention, I know I did in the video on Friday, but I wanted to mention it again, that if you guys are new, I would love for you to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload, not just videos, but on my community tab as well. I have some extra things coming up that I am working on and the way I'm going to notify everybody is through my community tab and also on Instagram. So I would love for you to follow me over there. I don't want you guys to miss any of the fun things that are coming up for this holiday season. So again, subscribe if you're new, hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys in the next video.